Hey guys, Aiden here. Today I'm coming at you with two Muay Thai legends. One of them is Yodson Klai, the other one is Sanchai. So if you enjoy the content, please like, comment, share and subscribe. We're nearly at 1000 subscribers, which is amazing. So let's keep this going. Jumping right into it, these are the numbers and stats I've given for Yodson Klai, fair text. For his posture, I've given him Mauricio Hua to give him that kind of Muay Thai style. Now let's go into his appearance. So for his hair, I've gone for hair type 55. For his eyebrows, eyebrows four. For his facial hair, facial hair 22. He's got no body hair. All the hair colors, you got to set to black. As you just seen. Presets, don't worry about presets. I don't use presets. For the eyes, we've gone for dark brown. I think that's the only one that works with him, to be honest. For the body, we have body two. For the skin, I have put tone two. And then for the tattoos, we have a couple of different ones on him. Interestingly, I think we might have to come back to the tattoos. Yeah, let's come back to the tattoos. Let me do his face sliders for you first. So template 11 is the face template I've selected. So select the same one. And for the sculpt section, just copy what you see on screen and you end up with exactly the same face as what you see on mine. Okay, so those are his face sliders for Yodson and Claire Fairtex. Final bit, we're gonna have a look at his tattoos again. So for his right arm, we have gone for Angels and Demons number four. So in whatever fashion you like, just put that on his arm to give it a bit of color, similar to what he has in. Similarly for his chest, we have used the same tattoos, Angels slash Demons four. And again, I've placed it on the side of his chest. You can flip and rotate it as you see fit, just to try and get the right look to make it blend with the arm one. Now the next section I'm assuming is gonna be for his mustache. Let us just find out. And yes, indeed. So for the mustache section and the beard facial hair, I've used Critterfont 9. So just to give you guys an idea of what you have to do with the tattoos, right? Let's say, you see this tattoo I've got on his cheek here? If I press left on the D-pad, it turns down the opacity. If I press right on the D-pad, it turns up the opacity. What you wanna do is find something sort of in the middle like this. And what that would do, and let's shrink it. You can shrink it down, press it up or down. What that will do is it will let it blend in with what's on there already. So it's not gonna be like a fuller black like that, for example. We're looking for a slightly more faded look to make it blend in with the existing facial hair in the game. So now going through his entire beard with the same font and to save yourselves time, what you can do is you can press the L3 stick in and that will let you copy. You see, I've copied too many now. Triangle to delete. That will let you copy his beard and then you can just click into it and move it around. So what you want to do is you just want to fill in his moustache. It's a bit more than the default one. The layout doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. Don't forget about the sideburns here. So we've got sideburns. And again, if you want to tidy it up a bit, you could always make it shorter and you can double up on it. For example, like this. You can flip it with triangle and square until you get the right look. But for me personally, I was happy with just having a long. Let me see how did I do it on the other side. Slightly bit longer. Something along those lines. And similarly, where's this one gone? Okay, so it looks like I've stacked a few on top of each other on the same side. And this one is, yeah. I've got one on the opposite side. Without it, you'll see he hasn't got any sideburns. However, the picture I was working off, he did have sideburns. And for that reason, I wanted to do it like that. Again, we've got more. I believe this one actually I did did I use this one 
just above his lip. I don't think I used this one, so you don't need to worry about these actually. Just double check. Yeah, don't worry about it. number seven to number one I didn't use. So number 10 up to number 19 is for his facial hair, sideburns, uh, goatee, and number 20 is for his body tattoo. So again, we're using tattoos here to give his facial hair a bit more color to it, a bit more volume. And similarly, we do this on other videos, we do it usually for eyebrows. So I hope that was enough detail for you guys to get the tattoos. If not, then let me know in the comments below for a future video, I'll bear that in mind. Clothing, we have the rare dragon blue bottoms. We have the legendary rope gloves and we have mouth guards fangs. The legendary rope gloves is unlocked for people who pre-ordered the game. I had to buy it through the DLC store as I was given my copy by EA and I didn't receive it on launch. So I had to get it through there. So if you guys are wondering and you didn't pre-order it, you can get it through the pre-order store, which is in the game on the main menu. Now then, on to the next guy, we've got Sanchai. For those of you who don't know who these two are, they're Muay Thai fighters, they're the highest level guys, among you know, among many others, but Sanchai is probably one of the most well-known, I'd say, other than maybe Borkao, just for his um, flavor, I guess, of Muay Thai. So fighter type, oh, I didn't go into fighter type, so for Sanchai, I'd say Showboat, for Yotsen Kalai, probably Pressure. I'll put Sanchai as Showboat, because he does use flashy kicks. So for Sanchai's surname, he's actually, when you see him on fights, his name will be Sanchai Muay Thai Jim. That will be his whole name, but I just put Muay Thai Jim. So if you want, you can put Sanchai Muay Thai Jim. For his age, I put 37. For his stance, interestingly, I didn't give him a Muay Thai stance. I gave him John Dodson's hopping one. Even though Sanchai does have a Muay Thai stance at times, other times he'll be in my Sanchai in the game. If you want a Muay Thai stance, then again, Shogun Hua. I'd say is the one. So let's jump into his appearance. Presets, don't worry about that. Hair, we're gonna jump into. I've given him hair 48. This is his more kind of modern look that he has. When he was a bit younger, he had a more shaven kind of short style. It's up to you guys how you wanna do it. Eyebrows, I've gone for eyebrows nine. Facial hair, I haven't given him any facial hair. Body hair, I haven't given him any body hair. Hair color, we're gonna go black, black, black and don't worry about the body. Eyes, I've gone for a lighter brown, but you could also use dark brown as well. For the body type, Sanchai's quite a slim guy, I'd say, so I've given him body 17 myself. And let's get into his facial sliders. Once again, make sure you select the right template. So we're going for template number four. Go over to sculpt and follow what you see on the screen to end up with the same results. Okay, so that's his facial sliders, that's his haircut, and his body type. Final thing, the tattoos that we have, we're using Clairvaux font 9. So if you go to the font section, Clairvaux font, go down to letter I. And basically, as you can see, what I've done, and I've stretched it out, and then I've pressed left on the D-pad until I've got it to blend in, just under his eye. And similarly, I've actually placed Okay, so I've stacked two of them on top of each other on that side. Oh, sorry, one is on the right, one is on the left, yeah. So the other one is over here, guys, Clairvaux Font 9 again, just under the eyelid. Okay, and final bit is the clothing. I've gone for Bottoms Rare Dragon Red. You could also have a look. I mean, these are Muay Thai shorts, there are other ones. I haven't unlocked many yet, unfortunately. But there's a lot of different types you could work with, just depending on what kind of shorts you prefer them to have. Hopefully EA will expand these short selections to maybe go with stuff that people have used in fights. Next up, I've got legendary rope gloves. Legendary rope gloves for his gloves. 
And for the mouth guard, I have just given him the simple backyard one. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the content, then please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Coming up on the channel, we have Roy Jones Jr. We have James Tony, a bunch of other boxers. I've got some requests for Calvin Cater and some missing UFC fighters like Dan Ige. I've got those on my radar. Bellator fighters, Rory Gegard. And a few more are on the way. Um, and that's, that's the gist of it, guys. So I'm Aiden. Thank you for watching.